Not too many businesses are in the comic business, so this is like an unusual case study, but it's all about a content business that had a threat from digital, basically. Right. And it's a classic case of the term creative destruction, which is the idea of when a new technology comes along and it impacts the traditional businesses. You can either get that from the outside, sort of it gets done to you. You know, your business goes away when you're selling a certain type of product and there's a better product. <clears throat> or you can do it from the inside. And I think this is a great example of a company that got ahead of that curve and said, listen, everything's fair game. Let's rethink everything about the way that we do business. So be bold was their theme. Be bold, no fear was the idea that you know, let's examine everything, but also let's try some things a new way, just because we did it in the old way before. And this is a business that's been around for a long time. So in a way, it's a unique business, but it's also a business that is like retailers or technology companies that have been in different sectors for a long time. And sometimes they get comfortable. And in this case, everything was fair game. And I really love that as a theme. And then you think about it, that this is a content company. They realize they're a content company. They're in the storytelling business. And if they tell better stories, they'll have new opportunities. There's an interesting point also about how you know, the derivative products, the video games, the movies, the different ways that their characters essentially have been turned into other formats, other mediums. And they re realize that they could sort of let that happen or they could create just more compelling characters, more compelling content, which would essentially drive the bus as opposed to be sort of a, uh, a passenger on the bus. I want to read a quote from Didio in this interview on this Fast Company blog where he was asked, um, was there sort of a unified creative direction going through yeah. the whole process? And uh, uh, Dan Didio says, we wanted it to feel like it was brand new. There were some goals. We didn't want to retell origins. If you're um, taking past continuity, then it had, or talking past continuity, it had to have a purpose, have a reason for the story, not something just to stick in there because it happened before. We didn't want to take any character for granted. We wanted to make sure that they were used properly and took the time to develop them. One of the criticisms they found was that the old school comic book mentality was people would jump into a comic and they'd read it and they'd be like, I have no idea what I just read because there's so much of the yes. backstory. To your point, they decided to simplify, go back to the basics, and become better storytellers by simplifying the story, therefore allowing the audience, a new audience, a younger audience with digital, to get into the characters. Yeah, it's sort of the catch up, if you, I mean, take that quote, replace characters with products, and this applies to great, like almost every point. business, that let's look at every product that we have, and just because people used it in a certain way in the past, doesn't mean that we can assume that they're going to use it in that same way going forward. So let's re-examine that and roll out not only new versions of products, but potentially new products.